Hey guys, what's up? Uh, <laughs> what's up? Uh, you know, it's me here doing stuff. Uh, I'm here to show off, you know. Anyways. Fucking Christ. <laughs> First clip of the week, I think. Uh, I found the new Spider-Man wave at a Target by me, so now I'm going to be hitting up a bunch of more of these. Uh, of course, they have the one I really don't want. It's just Daredevil. If you want Daredevil, um, that's pretty much you at this point. If you want Daredevil, so don't buy them. Anyways, I found them, so now I'll be going to a few of these, so cool. All right, I'm at uh, the same Target. They have a bunch of the, uh, kind of these? I don't know. They have a bunch of these. I don't think they come to figure. You get a t-shirt. It's like all the crap that no one really wanted. I don't know have the figures they don't so rip i would have uh, definitely flipped them because i you know i am that kind of guy uh like a grim one yeah it's pretty much everything new here i think they restocked the other day got yeah, this i don't know what this is it's too scary for me so i'm gonna go to the next place i guess and hopefully i find some stuff Hey guys, I'm at a random Walmart. I'm doing a like garage sale hunting right now because I woke up really like a bunch in my area. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do some hunting today. And uh, I drove past a Walmart. I completely forgot it was over here. It's actually like, close to the other one I go to. Not like the one next to my house, but like, the other one is like further out. And I decided to stop here and I found a vintage wave figure. Actually, wait, it's Electro. Uh, card is demolished, but I'm going to open it. So I don't really care. I don't know if the paint app looks good, which it does. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to pick this up. I can cancel one Hasbro Pulse order now. So now I just need to find Spidey and the Gob. And then I will be pretty good if I find those two. If I find Spidey and Gob. I don't know if my phone is cut out. I'm kind of just repeating myself. Sorry about that. But I'm really excited to find this. Cool. And the garage shell hunting has been pretty good. There's one in particular that I can't go to until like after 3.30. It's from the Master of the Universe, so... 30 but if i can go let's just say there's like some rare black series and legos there for like really cheap i think it was the kids and they never opened it because it's very recent stuff so hoping i can get in there but if not even happy i got this it's kind of weird but i'm gonna check to see what their neck section is looking like you never know so uh, on to the next clip guys and uh I apparently they do subway surfer figures now even though this game has been out for like a billion years now it's pretty neato uh, hey guys, I'm in my car right now. I just went to a garage sale. I like, messaged you and told me to come like later in the day to like, look. But I got like first pickings on everything. There was some like something really good that I really wanted to get, and it was a really good deal. Anyways, I paid 18 bucks for all this. I got a Lego Jurassic World set. They're pretty. Everything's pretty beat up, and I'll say why in a second. But this, these are like were the two sealed ones. I got that, and then Speed Champions. So this was five. That was seven fifty. This goes for about 20 to 25. This goes for like 15. I don't know if it's, it sounds like it's loose though. So like, I don't know if either actually still, but they're cheap. Hopefully if the minifigure they're even in there, I'll be fine. But I was planning on holding on to these for a bit just to see if the prices go up because they're so cheap. I mean, why not? But the big item I got with a Black Series figure, I got the Emperor Palpatine Amazon exclusive. This is like a $120 figure. You wanted six bucks for it. And it's pretty good, except the one downside is his foot, like his, uh, the peg, like, broken it, it looks like. So, as you can see there, like, the peg broke, so I have to, like, glue it, like, put a little dab of glue, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, even if I sold it, probably add this with the broken, like, foot, I could probably make, like, 60, 70 bucks. I do just plan on keeping it. Plus, this is fun. It's world already co covered it, and it's gonna be sitting in this chair. But, yeah, it's legit. I mean, so, yeah, I guess someone just returned it. And the reason why I'm saying it, I think this guy like bought a bunch of Amazon pallets to like flip and he's selling all like the damaged stuff. Cause it's also like a SH figure to Jaren, but it was like inside of it was the uh Dragon Stars one, which is weird. I think someone just swapped him and returned it. But he wanted like four bucks for it, so even still it would be a good price. But yeah, I'm really excited to get this. It's pretty beat up, but you know, I really can't complain for such a cheap price. I'm gonna take him out when I get home. Just mess with it a bit more, see if there's anything else wrong with it, but yeah. It looks really good. I mean, for six bucks, I mean, wouldn't you have taken that? Even if these two are just like already open, everything's picked, and like they somehow resealed, which I don't know how you would reseal reseal this. But even for 20 bucks, that's a great deal. So, yeah, I just want to show that off, and uh, I guess I'll talk about it more at the end of the video, I guess. So, yeah. Hello. 
Uh, I'm back. Uh, this is a few days later. This is on Monday, the 10th. I don't know why I said the day. I never say the day. But if you're wondering when I'm recording this, it's uh, 6 o'clock on the 10th right now. Got a little bit of a haul. I got an insane deal. I think I showed off in the video, to be honest. But it turned out way better than I expected. So I'm very happy about that. I got some other pretty cool, uh, you know, neat little knickknacks I picked up. Something I didn't expect to show up. I think it's cool enough that you guys will like it. It'll offend its channel. I don't really collect this kind of stuff, but they're really neat. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with an old item. Uh, I, I, I've had a little bit of reserve. If you guys a reserve, as you guys have known about my uh, some figures I've had built up that I've opened. I still have some figures still need to open stuff. I got bored one day. I decided to open up my Dragon Stars. Uh, King Cooler figure, and uh, man, he looks pretty good. Uh, I think if you detailed it, like the lines with some outlining, look great. My one problem with it is like his head joint is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad, which I don't blame. It's like a $20 figure. And like, you know, the... No, you can't really go forward much. You go backward pretty good, but not forward. But, I don't know, he looks great. He scales pretty well with figure arts. He's pretty bulky and big. I like him. For 20 bucks, I paid for him, I think. I probably paid like 20 bucks. I think he looks really good. Look at that. Well, Dragon Stars, for what they're worth, for characters that they're probably not going to do for a while, these are definitely good stand-ins. Or for ones that are kind of out of your price range, maybe, uh, money-wise. Like, I remember I had the Goku Black for a while before they announced the uh, SGCC one that you could pick up pretty easily. I had that one rocking. It looked pretty good. And I used to have the Frieza, but, you know, I got the figure arts Frieza now, so I don't need it. And they had the key, uh, first form freezer for a while too i had that for a long time i think it looks really great but then i didn't have to uh, figure out when i traded it for some games and stuff but uh yeah till they do a cooler this will be my stand in we uh next up this is a very like uh garage sale heavy week so before i show off the figures i got i'll show off the two games i picked up I picked up a uh, kirby epic yarn i got these i believe for like f i think like seven bucks it's like three fifty each is pretty good. It's probably four. I probably talk on the seven bucks or something. But I got Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's complete. Both of them are complete. This is about a twenty dollar game. Not the most expensive game. And another game I picked up. I did have it recently. I actually just sold it like a week ago. With uh, Mario Super Slugger. They might keep this this time. I don't know. I this is like the one of the one. This is like the one out of the Mario lot I wanted to keep. I always I always like the Mario baseball games. So yeah, I am currently looking for a new Wii. Uh, my old Wii might work, to be honest. I haven't really hooked it up or tried it, but I don't know. I, I don't know if the controls are going to work, to be honest. I, I used that Wii recently for a couple shoots, and they were outside, and it was kind of raining, and like kind of muggy out, so I don't know if that kind of like screwed up my Wii or something. Maybe I'll test it out with these games, but I always wanted to play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And, I don't know. I like Mario games. I might keep them on myself. I don't know what I'm doing with so I might just buy a Wii and bundle them together for like 120 bucks. I don't know what I'm doing with them. But for now, there was me. Um, next up, it was the pickups at that weird Amazon sale I talked about earlier in the video. Where the guy was, like, selling, like, returned Amazon goods, it looked like. I don't know how it was garage sale. I already checked up on it to see, like, what's left. But I picked up three items. Uh, one item that is definitely in the title. Probably one of the best deals I've ever gotten was uh, this Black Series Emperor Palpatine for $6. $6. Originally, in the listing, I saw 6 I saw a little school game at that time. Uh, that dude looks like 65 probably. Which still was a pretty good price because it goes for like 120 130 it looked like. Looks like on eBay. But, you know, the date box is pretty damaged. It's not the worst looking box, to be honest. There's a little crease here and stuff. But the box is pretty good, so I don't really care. I'll probably keep the box in case I sell it. But the reason why I believe it was returned, which I'll just show off the figure now since I'm talking about it, is his foot broke. The peg on the inside is broken. I don't know if we can. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. To be quite honest, kind of see it a tiny bit, but it kind of like cracked. It looked like, but it, so there's like enough space where you can glue it back in. I'm pretty sure, and you can't even notice. So I still need to do that. It's been kind of lazy, but yeah, you can kind of see here. This foot peg is non-existent. It's just gone. No foot. How will he walk? That's why he got a cane, though. Luckily, he's the emperor, so he's going to be sitting in a chair 95% of the time for most setups. Like, when he's sitting, like, you can't even tell. He looks great, though. Man, his face sculpts and stuff are great. I should have grabbed all of them. He comes with three of them. He's got these dope lightning hands, which I love. I like this figure a lot. I'm really glad I ended up getting it, especially for six bucks. Remember, I passed on it originally. I was really sad. I was, he was definitely on my radar to look for for a good price, because I was not paying that much, but maybe, like, 40 or 50 but yeah, he's great. I'm glad to have a puppy. I'm really excited for the start. We got a new Darth Vader to come out later this year. I'm definitely going to have to pick him up to 
Paris Pelps. But, uh, yeah. Oh, dude. I just remembered. I have those two Imperial Guards. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I bought two of them. Hold on. Let me grab them. Dude. I'm pretty sure I showed them some, but five below a while ago. I had a bunch of uh, Black Series. Like, all my original Trilogies are falling over. But uh, they had them on sale for five bucks each because five below. And they had the Rex Wave. I bought two of them, sold them for like 30 bucks. What an idiot I am. But what they also had was uh, these boys. And I compare them now. Like how good that's going to look. Oh, boy. I forgot about that until just now. I'm super excited. Now I have to redo my display. So I fucked up what they look like. Anyways, I picked up two other items there. These are definitely to hold on to to see where they go in the future, make a year or two from now. Uh, the boxes are pretty rough, but they are sealed. Uh, first up is a Lego Speed Racer set. I think I got all these for 15 bucks. I, you know, we made a deal. That's five each. Uh, he wants five for this one. I did open... I mean, the box is pretty, you know, damaged and stuff. I did pop open this tab right here because I know the box is already damaged. So I was already... If I sold this, it would already be, like, at a discount. But I just wanted to double check. It didn't sound like the pieces might have been opened or something. So I popped open to check with the bag. They're, they're in bag, so it's sealed still, technically. But the box is so damaged that you know, you're, you're already going to be selling at a loss if I was to sell it. I think right now this goes for about like 20 bucks. So I paid a good, just pretty decent amount. I'd probably make like 10 bucks off if I sold it now. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like these. You know, it's cool size Chrysler, you know. Whatever. That's what it's supposed to look like. I don't know very much. So this is not the most exciting set. A lot of the more exciting ones I was really excited about like some of the Marvel ones and stuff. The boxes are like completely open and like retaped and stuff. So I don't want to deal with it. But the other set I saw that was uh, sealed that I felt like I, I'll wait on because I feel like this will probably go up a bit more later on with uh, this Jurassic World set. You know, it's pretty sealed. It sounds more like they're in the box and stuff. And just like last feels like it might have been open and resealed. But hey, he wants $750 for this one. So 750 but I got it for 5 And yeah, you know, it's a cool looking set. I could see it definitely going up later on. So yeah, you know, it's a cool one to sit on for a little bit. These uh, Jurassic Park ones usually uh, go up a bit in price, so... Maybe like a year from now, it'll be like maybe 40 bucks. You know, I feel like that'd be a good deal. You know, for $20 cent, you want 40 for it. I don't know if these are retired yet. I assume they're if this is for the world. Was that the newest one? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't like the Jurassic Park movies. I haven't seen them. So, yeah, I got that. And then the last item I got. Uh, oh, maybe we're like, hey, Peter, where's that Marvel Legends vintage card wave you bought? You didn't need to do a lot of hunting after that. Exactly. I returned it right when I bought it. The reason being. With, as soon as I left the store to cancel my Hasbro Pulse order, I got charged for the three I had pre-ordered, and then they sent them. So I should be getting them sometime this week now, so I went and returned it. I was very sad, because I was really excited to get it. But you know, I'm not going to have two two of them. I did kind of screw up, though. I kind of, kind of, not because I've been talking about the last few weeks, I wanted to pick up another uh, Commander Wolf vintage card. Apparently I had it pre-ordered. I didn't know that, so now I have another one, so I guess I'll have to pick up another one at the store and I, I told you uh, I pass on them for a reason and if here's a good reason to not gonna open one up anyways I don't really show these off but I picked up some new shoes I actually got two pairs of new shoes but one of them won't be here till like one today same with the shirt but I feel like this will fit the kind of uh video you know nerd culture stuff I got the Simpsons crossover I got a, one pair of these uh I'll talk about the other pair I got in a second but dude, this box is so cool look at this box I like, think I need to display this is my Aquabats one Box is so crisp with the Aquabats one. Cool thing is too, so you got the house right there. You open that bad boy up. It's the living room. I am a fan of the Simpsons. You know, you know I sometimes watch the new season. They're all right. You know, it's the Simpsons. I'm not really going there expecting a lot. So, you know, it's just a fun, kind of nostalgic, you know. But I picked up two pairs. I'll talk about the other pair in a second. Let me show these ones off. I got the, uh, I think these are called Skid I've never had a pair like these before. I, I know I only wear bands too, by the way. So I got some, I think these are like high skates or something. You know, they're a bit more to it. But one today I got blue. They both were, one's blue and yellow. Then you got the fam right there. But the reason I really wanted these, like, it's cool and all. But in the other pair, it's what they looked like on uh, one talk show they originally were shown on. I forget the name of it. But, uh, man, I think that's just so cool. I don't want to wear these. I'm going to. I'm probably destroying them while I go skating or something. But they're really cool. Like, these are cool looking as can be. I really like these. I thought those were pretty cool. I had to show them off. And, uh, yeah, the other pair I got, I'll show them off, I guess, next week. When I, next video when I get them, I got the El Barto ones, which looks like, if you know, you know the Simpsons, like, uh, Bart's kind of, like, alter ego. He, uh, it looks like he had graffitied them and stuff, and uh, the graffiti uh, goes on to the sole, because, you know, he graffitied the groaning issues. I thought it was pretty neat, and I picked up, uh, 
the crusty burger uh long sleeve you also have a backpack that i want to get for like conventions but i'm gonna weigh in now because i think that'll go on sale to like 50 bucks you want like 80 for it now i feel like i can wait till 50 and get it in no time once this is over but uh yeah it's everything i picked up this week next week i have a fucking a lot of shit coming in mainly because of my hasbro pulse order. i got the vintage card wave coming in next week i got three figures from that and then i got the vintage the, the vintage wolf coming i got the new pair of shoes i think i got like a game coming in the mail like special edition they definitely want to return for that uh yeah that's everything i picked up this week and same deal i'm so blown away i got this for six bucks i mean legit i might be the person who got the best deal on this i don't know i might have got this figure for the cheapest anyone will get this it's pretty crazy but uh yeah uh, if you like this video comment like comment down below what you hated that i picked up this week am i stupid for not picking up two of the vintage wave i don't know it's very hot in my room right now and uh subscribe and you know I'm going to go drink some water because my mouth is very dry right now. So I'm talking very big letters.